Myself and Shia have come here today with a very specific job in mind. Rob has mentioned before that he usually tailors to Lego, but is trying to branch out into Halo Mega Construct. No, the reason this is so complicated, it was one of our first models where we put motors. Yep. So it wasn't just lights and it wasn't just sound, it was motors. So this is a light and moving Frost Raven. So Shere Khan has put in an order for a custom lights and rotating propellers Frost Raven. Oh, oh my So, goodness. functionally it's ready to show, so I'd love Ooh. to be able to show you guys what it does and how it works. Let's wire this up and check it out. Yeah, so here's the result. Again, it's not quite finished yet, but I was able to get the cool features that I really wanted to show everybody here today. It's remote controlled. It has this little remote control that comes with it. And what I wanted to do, since it's a aerial vehicle, is put in some marker lights. So you can see underneath it, again, ignore the wires for now. We'll get those bundled up into the blue tubes that go underneath it later. What? So there's different patterns for the marker lights. And you can see the three different patterns there as I cycle through them. Then we have a new product that we've had a couple of months called uh, Flexible LED Filament that looks like a fluorescent light. What? And you can see because these tubes are just like so calling to me to make some sort of addition <gasps> to go in there. <laughs> We've actually got four of our little Whoa. LED filaments in there in blue. We've got them in different colors, but blue is the right one for this. So what? you can see, like they just look, there's hundreds of little LED lights inside those little tubes. And You've they just look fantastic. kidding me. So right now they just go on and off, but long term I want to have them pulse or they can do different effects. So like, I really can't believe my eyes with this thing. And I've seen how you tidy the wires away. I know it just won't be an issue later. And you can also see, again, just how razor thin these wires are. Not even razor thin, hairline thin. Like, they are so tiny. And also, Shear says, like, very durable. Yeah, so here on these, we didn't actually have to make any holes. The only place we had to actually modify the kit uh, was to put in the motors for the propellers, which you'll see in a second. But everything else is just kind of, as the kit ships, you can go ahead and put the lights in. Yeah, I think anybody that's been watching this video so far has heard the word propellers and said, hold up. <laughs> you, don't, you don't really mean that these propellers spin, right? Because yeah, no, it's that, unbelievable. That was actually one of the things that I thought of when I first saw this model was we've got to find a way to get motors in there. So we've got really tiny motors and I put four of them in here. And if you push the D button on the remote, watch your hands, then uh, the propellers start up. And you can actually control everything like this from the no. remote. And this to me is like the pinnacle of everything this kit should be. Yeah. Is having those spinning blades. Can you believe this? Oh my goodness. And then if you push it again, they turn off. So yeah, long term too, we're gonna have the battery inside of it as well. So if you wanna do a little bit of whooshing around your 
apartment or house to be able to take the Frost Raven with you, you should be able to do that. <laughs> oh, so this battery will com be compact inside? Yeah, we've actually got smaller batteries. This is just one yeah. that we had hanging around. I tested, um, yeah. It'll go ahead and uh, fit inside those blue tubes in the bottom. And oh, then okay. we're going to see if we can put sound in it as well. So we've got the rotor spin up and then the rotor spin down, which we've actually taken from Halo. Sound bites from the game. Yeah. Loaded into the Frost Raven. Yeah. Yeah, that's the goal. Oh, man. Wow. Would you mind? Uh, sure. Yeah, Thank go ahead. you. Absolutely. So the A does the marker lights, the little flashing lights underneath. The B is the blue tubes, and D is the propellers. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> uh, wow. I, I, I'm honestly stunned, especially a little remote control handheld. The fact that these wires and battery will be inside, the fact that you'll have lights and sounds from sound bites from Halo Wars is something else. And we've even got the little pilot in the cockpit here. Wow. He's happy to finally be able to fly around, right? He can actually go somewhere now. Uh, Sierra 2, Atriox has been spotted in the valley. Start up the Frost Raven. Yes, sir. Coming, coming right now. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. You can see it's actually kind of wobbling, like it's almost about to take off by itself. Yeah. <laughs> you think you could ever get the propellers strong enough to take off? I don't know, because it wouldn't be a balanced uh, weight yeah. distribution, yeah. would it? I'm not sure this would actually be a, a true uh, aerodynamic no. aircraft, but it looks cool as no. anything. So. No. Wow. I mean, bravo, sir. That is, Thank you. That is something else. Thank wow, you. Wow. Yeah, so these are the kinds of things that we like to do with our kids. Um, things that people are just like, there's no way that that's possible. There's no <laughs> I, way that I still that can't work. believe it. I've seen it for a couple of minutes now. Mind those wires. Again, the wires are still uh, in the process of being collected, but everything's mm. connected there, and it's all self contained. You can see there's just the one wire coming out right now for power, which long term will be inside. And you can see you can have those LEDs flashing. Yep, there's three different patterns. Oh, yeah. And that's off and then do it again and then they're just full on oh so that's yeah that's full on that's maybe like engagement with the enemy that's like just a normal flyby can i stop you can sure try just watch your fingers yeah Ooh. and the remote is actually radio frequency so you don't have to point it at the unit it's not it's not infrared so it'll work from about 1500 feet away ladies and gentlemen you have never seen this before a remote control lights and spinning propellers, Frost Raven, soon to be light sounds and spinning propellers, like, just unbelievable. I hope everybody likes it. We had a lot of fun making it. This was kind of like our flagship project to start. We've got a couple others that we're working on. If anyone's interested and you have a Frost Raven, feel free to go ahead and shoot us an email through our website or through any of our social channels. This one's a bit complicated because we have to modify the parts to put the motor inside, mm -hmm. so we have to drill it out. So you would probably have to send us your props. And we don't have a price finalized yet on this kit, but it's going to be pricey because of the amount of labor involved. There's several hours worth of work here, but the kit itself is uh, amazing, and uh, we just really wanted to do something that took it to the next level. Hey man, so. I mean, I've seen the Mega Constructs community dish out mad cash on, say, five pelicans. What would you rather have, five pelicans or four pelicans and a lights and sounds pelican? Absolutely phenomenal. And this is not the only thing we've got to show today, where we're gonna be taking a look at two more lights and sounds vehicles from Halo that you've kitted out. We've got a Forge Hog, and a banished ghost. And in the future, I have a bag of banished vehicles outside that I hope we're gonna be able to kit out with some lights. I haven't seen them yet, so this is gonna be fun. Yeah, absolutely. Well, Rob, thanks again. And you thank you guys for the support on this video so far. Two questions. How would you rate this Frost Raven out of 10, and why is it 10? <laughs> <laughs> thanks so much for tuning in today, folks. You have a great day. You stay awesome, you stay safe. And the Frost Raven, is signing off. Hold on, hold on. And the Frost Raven is signing off.